Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Apache Kafka with Apache Flink. The first step is to install um, Kafka locally. Therefore we're going to download the latest release of Kafka. Um, so we first download it. Zip it. I'm going to the directory. Okay, so the next step is to start Zookeeper, um, which is located in the bin directory. There's a start script. Zookeeper server start. And we have to pass a configuration. Luckily, Kafka provides us already with a working configuration of Zookeeper, so we'll start Zookeeper. Next, we're going to start um, the Kafka broker. Um, we just call it Kafka server start. This also needs a configuration file. Um, okay, now the server is running as well. You see also here that um, Zookeeper is also logging some stuff because the broker is. Um, Connecting to um, Zookeeper and create um, um, for creating topic we have to use this command here. So it says create, then the name, then the Zookeeper. We only create one partition and the replica replication factor is only one because we have only one broker running. Um, this already exists, yeah, I tried this demo before, so let's do it, uh, call it demo. Okay, now the topic um, demo has been created. And next we're going to um, connect to the topic um, to see um, if any data has been produced into the topic. So, the, so Kafka ships with the Kafka console consumer, which is connecting to the broker to um, read messages from the demo topic. So nothing happens. This is because nothing is in the topic. So for writing something into the topic, um, we are going to um, start the producer. Um, So now we are connected um, with the producer as well. Um, and now I've sent a message with the console producer and it's showing up here. So now you can see messages immediately appear um, in the consumer. So now we would also like to um, consume messages produced into the demo topic with Apache Flink as well. Therefore, we have this little um, example program. It's called um, Read from Kafka. Um, it's a very small Flink program that first starts with creating a stream execution environment. Um, and to, from that environment, we are adding a source. And that source is the Flink Kafka consumer. Um, which needs um, three arguments. The first one is the name of the topic. The second is a deserializer. In this case, we are just using um, a string schema for deserializing strings. Um, and the third one is, um, is a properties object. And the properties that are required for using um, the Kafka consumer are these. So you need a bootstrap server, which is a Kafka broker. You need a zookeeper connect string, which is a comma separated list of Zookeeper servers, and a group ID for the consumer group, um, and the name of the topic. Um, and what the job is then going to do is it's creating a data stream from the Kafka consumer. Um, and for yeah, showing you, presenting you what you can do with the data stream, I've added a map operation here. And the map operation is just going to transform the incoming string. So this method here is called for each um, string consumed by the Kafka consumer 
um, and we're going to add this prefix to the string um, and after that we're going to print it um, in the standard out and finally we have to call the environment.execute to actually start the entire flink um, topology okay before i'm going to start this i'm going to change the topic so <clears throat> this is the these are the command line are the arguments that you need to pass so I'm going to set the topic to demo. The bootstrap server is just a locally running broker. Zookeeper is also a local zookeeper and I have just a random string for the group ID. Okay, so then let's run this. So now you can see that the entire Flink um, system is started and the topology is deployed in Flink and now it's running but nothing is happening because we are not producing anything into the topic so I'm now going to um, write something into the topic you will see that it shows up in Flink here and it also shows up in the other consumer so now um, there are two consumers connected to the topic and both of them are showing immediately, almost immediately, um, when something is produced into the topic. Okay, so now you can read data from um, Kafka into Flink and then um, work with it inside Flink. Now we would also like to produce data into the topic using Flink. Therefore, we have this example right into Kafka. Um, again, it starts with a stream execution environment. <coughs> Um, and in this case, we are adding a source which is generating artificial data. So for having an initial stream of strings, um, I use this um, st simple string generator. And it's just um, running a while loop, which is um, creating strings. Um, and it's leaping for 10 milliseconds, because otherwise we would pollute the, um, the Kafka topic and too much stuff would um, be printed on the on the sh um, output console. Okay, and um, <coughs> the most important part is actually here, where we define the sync. So this is where we write the um, contents of the stream into Kafka again. Um, here we need to pass the bootstrap server again, so the Kafka broker, then the name of the topic, and um, a serialization schema. Um, before I'm running this, I also need to change the topic to um, demo. Okay, and then I can start the write into Kafka. Um, and now let's switch here. So now the Flink job is running and you can see here that um, data is generated into the topic. And we can also switch to this, this other job here. And you can see here as well that it's constantly um, reading the data that we produce in this job here. So now I'm stopping the data production again and you see it immediately stops here. We are still live. So everything is working as expected. Um, and you saw how to read and write data um, into a Kafka topic with Apache Flink. And we also verified with the tools provided by Kafka that it's working properly.